Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at the Propel Maximum X03 drone. This is a small brushed quadcopter that has altitude hold, a special training mode, it has uh, high speeds, optional three or four channel control, 3D flips, and more. So let's check it out. Now the drone comes in this uh, black rectangular clear box. And as you can see, the drone is displayed clearly here in the front. And here's a listing of all its features, such as the uh, altitude hold, six axis gyro, training mode, high speeds, 200 foot range, 2.4 gigahertz control, etc. And it has a performance grade RC and replacement parts for a year. And um, it's the maximum line of Propel, so very neat. Not much going on here on the sides. Here on the back, we see the red version of the drone and a clear description of all the features. And um, just uh, some miscellaneous text there. And um, this is the maximum line from Propel. There's also the navigator line. And so pretty neat, pretty cool layout there for beginners or intermediate. So now let's open up the uh, box and uh, Take a closer look at the drone here. Just open it up, pull it out from here, the, from the top. Let's try the bottom. So let's fold this out and just slide it out there. There we go. So we'll put the box right here and we'll set this right here. And so here's the drone and the uh, transmitter nice and clear with this uh, with this silver background and um, here's the drone very nice very slick this is the black version there's also a red version but it's uh, very shiny with its uh, shiny plastic there and built-in propeller guards and now let's take a look at the transmitter very nice small compact transmitter and very comfortable and you can um, put some accessories on it such as uh, grips different grips and stuff and now let's take a look at this little box that has the um, little bags with uh, chargers and spare propellers and stuff so let's open it up and you can see all the goodies in there such as the uh, manuals and brochures right there and right here we have some baggies. This one right here has the um, parts for the controller. This has the spare propellers. And this has the uh, battery and charger and micro USB cable. So it has the charge adapter which you plug into the micro USB cable and charge it. So let's organize all this and take a closer look at the contents of the box. Now taking a closer look at the contents of the box we have the drone itself. It's 3.7 volt, 450 milliamp LiPo battery, spare propellers, a screwdriver, the uh, charger and a micro USB cable, the uh, transmitter, the grips and additional uh, joysticks for the transmitter, and we also have the um, instruction manuals and brochures. So that's essentially the contents of the box. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now looking at the drone, this is a neat little brushed quadcopter that looks a lot like the Propel Tau released a short while back. And um, as you can see, it has the Propel logo right here at the top and it's a shiny black charcoal color and it's a brush motor quadcopter with propeller guards that are built in but easily removable and it has four bright LEDs down here below that uh, make it bright and visible either at night or for orientation and as you can see the propel logo there at the top is lit in red so very nice looking and uh, right down here we have its battery bay and um, it takes a 3.7 volt 450 milliamp lipo battery and it essentially charges with this uh, proprietary charger right here 
It's a proprietary adapter where you simply slide in the battery right there and it has a micro USB port right down below and you just plug in any micro USB cable but there is one included and then you just charge it up and there is a light right there indicating that it's being charged or that it has been charged and uh, it normally takes around 30 to 45 minutes to uh, fully charge the battery maybe about an hour and you get about uh, an eight minute flight time so pretty good so just snap it in down below and there is no on off button as soon as you slide in the battery and it clicks in it'll be activated right there is its 2.4 gigahertz antenna and as you can see it has a pretty nice built-in propeller guards that you can just easily remove if needed and um, overall a neat looking quadcopter that looks like the um, Propel Tau. It's virtually identical to it. And um, it has good uh, flight characteristics. Very uh, smooth and agile. There is a training mode that limits its um, height and um, it makes it fly at a very low, slow pace so that um, beginners can definitely train. But uh, very neat looking quadcopter here very aerodynamic and uh, pretty sleek looking so that's uh, essentially it for the uh, quadcopter now let's take a closer look at its transmitter now looking at the transmitter this is a very comfortable controller here from Propel and right here in the back with a little lid and screw uh, you have your batteries that are essentially two AAA batteries that it takes. So you would put the lid back on and screw back in the lid. And a uh, very nice controller here in the back. You have a couple of grips, rubbery grips that are very nice. And as a matter of fact, you've got some additional grips that you can optionally attach to the transmitter. So you would just simply slide them in. And here we have a couple of um, optional uh, joystick heads there. So you can remove the ones that are on and use those rubbery ones. But uh, very nice options here for the transmitter. As you can see, we can slide on these um, grips here at the bottom. Very easy to put on or take off. And it uh, has a very nice comfortable feel. So very nice ergonomic um, controller. And as you can see, it's very easy to just uh, remove the um, joystick heads there. You just take one off and take the little rubbery one and just kind of wedge it in there or screw it in there like that. And now you have uh, the option of having a, a rubbery joystick or the, um, the metal metallic plastic one that it has. So um, I will leave the default ones right here. Pretty nice. So you just uh, tighten that up. So very nice here. We have our uh, trim buttons and our on off button. As you can see, the trims are all around there. Very easy to apply. We have our three channel and our four channel button. So if you have the three channel, it removes the um, yaw from the left stick and it puts it in the right stick. And if you have the four channel, you have um, your side flight but if you have the three channel you trade the side flight for just simply yawing and it flies more like a helicopter and right here at the top we have our um, different buttons we have our uh, calibration button that you keep that pressed while it's on a flat surface and it calibrates the gyros here we have our auto takeoff auto land button our speed button we have three rates of speed, but if you keep it pressed, it will go into training mode. Here's your flip button that only applies if you are in um, higher rates than one. And right here, that's um, an optional button that's really not even used. It's just a null button that's right there. So not sure what that's for, but it does beep. So that's essentially it. And then you have you know your left throttle stick and right rudder stick. So we turn it on right there, as you can see, and we have our uh, channels and our rates there. So if you push the um, third uh, channel there, you've got the um, 
two channels and right here you have your speed rates and um, you have um, the three rates but if you keep it pressed you would have a um, T mode which is the uh, training mode which you're limited in the height it could fly which is about a few feet but uh, that's essentially it for the uh, controller so now let's take a look at setting this up for a first time flight now setting the quadcopter up for its first time flight is very straightforward once you have uh, fresh batteries inserted into the transmitter and a fully charged battery prepared for the drone first you would simply insert the battery into the drone right here in the rear so you would make sure that it slides into place like that and you should see the light start to blink at that point you want to turn on the transmitter so you push on the on off button now you have to bind it and you do that by moving the left stick up and down like that and you should notice the lights go solid and at that point the transmitter is bound to the quadcopter and the next recommended step is while it's flat on the ground you want to calibrate the gyro so you simply keep the uh, calibrate button pressed and you should notice the lights flicker and at that point it's all calibrated and bound you can then start the motors by moving the sticks down and out or pushing the um, auto takeoff auto land button and um, that's essentially it overall this is a real smooth flyer its training mode is great for beginners it uh, limits the uh, speed and height at which it can fly so makes it very safe for uh, trainers or beginner flyers and uh, it's just a real agile fun little quadcopter whether you're a beginner or uh, intermediate flyer so uh, let's take it for a flight and see how she performs